Alright guys, so the mold we're going to be using today is the a Anglin AI, um, I don't know what, I forgot how big it is. I think this is like the 6.2 inch uh, mojo worm. And then we're going to be using the Anglin AI 4.75 inch mojo worm today. With chartreuse tail, black with golf like body. I can't really, I can't wait for them, I cannot wait to make that. Then we're going to be trying some black with golf like ribbon tails. Chartreuse tail right here, black flake with the you know, black with gold flake body here. So once we get done with the plastic, we will start doing this. I've got the uh, little cooker, or not even it's not even a cooker, guys. But it's um whatever it's called, the Presto thingy. Okay. So we're going to try to make a couple of these. If you want to know where to find these baits, at, go to Facebook and go. Go to Facebook and search up Red Rock Bait Co. You can find these baits on Facebook, or if they're not on Facebook yet, just comment down below. These I'm going, we're, we'll think of a name going through the video. But when when I do make the name, you can go to Facebook, comment down what you want. Five dollars a package. They're not expensive, guys. Five for five. Five for five. Five for four. Or five for yeah, five for four. So if you really enjoy this video. I'd really thank you if you could just give me a thumbs up on the video and, a, and smash the subscribe button. Alright guys, so we're going to be using the black with gold flake and the chartreuse. So, I don't have a tripod so I'm very sorry if this is bad. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About... 25 drops of chartreuse. Okay, guys. Try my best. Like, you know, not that chartreuse. So, we're going to go. Uh, I'd say that would definitely be um, around 50 drops. Definitely a little brighter on the chartreuse. Not bad. So we're going to have a little test with them. No, we need a brighter chartreuse. So thicker chartreuse. I would say this is definitely around 80 drops with the chartreuse. So if this doesn't work, guys, we're going to add some white to it. It'll thicken it up. I'll make it as thin. And to y'all guys, it might look a little greener than you than it looks, but trust me, this is structures. Although black and green, you can never go wrong. Yeah, not bad. I'm gonna set this down real quick. I should be able to set this down. Let's just add one, two drops of white. One, two, and then just a little bit more chartreuse. All right, guys, I think we have got it. Maybe just a little thicker with the white. So, mm, one, two, three, four. All right. I'm hoping that's thicker, guys. Mm, almost thick enough. Need a more chartreuse. Remember, I want this really bright chartreuse. It's almost looking greenish on the coat gamma or GoPro. It is, but uh, all right, I think we've got it. Maybe just a little bit more chartreuse, just because of the black. All right. All right, guys, we think we've got it. So now we're going to do the black color. Let's just set that down over here. Right. We're using the Dental Plastics Black. As you can see, Dental Plastics. 
best colors ever, best plastic ever. That's the plastic I use, is the dental plastics. Crawl tube, one, two, three, four, five. Five drops of black. This black is really good, really nice and concentrated. As y'all can see, that turned it instant black. It's not full on black yet, but it'll be black here in a second. Um, let's do five more drops. Six, but it doesn't matter. We're almost getting it. Um, no, we're just pouring. Just a, like two more drops ought to do. One, two. Well, I did three, but you know. All right. Yeah, that will. It's gonna look lighter in the. Um, oh yeah, guys. That is perfect. Uh, Alright, so now it is time for the gold flake. Let's add in the gold flake. I don't use little teaspoons. I can just pour it out of the bag because I'm I'm okay with that. Maybe just a little more at this point. This is the .25 Dental Plastics gold flake. Love it. Alright, let's stir it up. Look at this, guys. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. It looks like the night sky, sort of. Oh yeah, beautiful color guys. Just beautiful color. You know, we're gonna add a cup two more drops of black. One, two. Yeah, put in the I put in the right amount of flake. Alright, so now let's go ahead and start hand pouring. It's gonna be very hard for me to video this for y'all, so my apologies if the video's bad. So real quick, let me just add some holds so I can hold the, the uh, thing on it. Let's not use that. We we'll use all right, guys. Here we go. I got it now. Got the nice view for y'all. All right. So starting off with the black gonna go off with these then to these and then we'll do the rest of these so here we go remember just the black body and a short shart chartreuse um chartreuse tail all right first one My apologies if this is kind of a bad video, but if you've been enjoying the video, guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Not the best hand pour in the world, but, you know, it'll uh, get better on as the years go by. Remember, if you want to go buy these baits, go to Red Rock Bait, Co Bait Co. on Facebook and just search at Red Rock Bait Co. Bait Co. and you ought to be able to find it. I sell baits on there. If you want a custom order, guys, just comment down below. If you want it and go to Facebook and comment just so I know for sure. Or if you want to see more videos like this, comment what type of what Nick what video I should do next. It'd really help me out if y'all just, you know, give me more video ideas. More people to watch is better. Hope y'all are enjoying the video right now. I'm not gonna show you all of this. Cause y'all would just be bored by then. Alright, so I'll get back. Okay, my bad guys, I didn't show y'all the full on hand pour, but as y'all can see, we got these done. So now we're on to these. These are a lot smaller, probably gonna be a lot harder. I'm gonna heat up the plastic real quick, and then we'll get straight back into the video. Alright guys, let's go ahead and do the 4.75 inch mojo worm. God, they're kinda hot, the molds are kinda hot, as they're expected to be. Alright, these are a lot smaller, a lot harder. My, if if I mess up, my bad, but you know, really small baits, hopefully, like not my first time pouring these, but these are really hard for me, alright, first one down, it's kind of getting into the tail, I might have poured a little too much plastic, so uh, we're going to kind of just let it get down there. There we go. All 
All right, this time we're not gonna pour as much plastic. That'll be good. Yep. On to the third one. Looks like we're doing pretty well right now. Don't want to jinx it though. All right. Third one down. Yeah, like I said, might have poured a little too much plastic like I did in the first one. Here's the fourth one. All right. This is also the Anglin AI 10 inch ribbon tail mold. So here we go. Actually, I don't know how well y'all can see that. I don't have zoom on this camera and I it's kind of hard to. You know what, hold up guys, hold up. Let's do this. <clears throat> All right, guys, here we go. Might have to heat back up this plastic. All right, first one down. Eight more to go or something. I probably, I did not just count. We got five more to go. Uh-oh, guys. We got a little problem over here. All right. Looks like I'm gonna have to get the knife and scrape off this little thing. It's messing us up. All right, we got it. Okay, so now on to the second round. I'm gonna put those on the wood real quick. All right, now the second round of ribbon tails. Yeah, it looks like we're still getting little globs. Might need to go heat them back up. All right. There is the second one, or the fourth one, third one. Gosh, guys, do I need to go back to math class and pre-K? All right, here we go on the fourth one. I got it right. <laughs> yeah, I act like that's an accomplishment. All right, not my best hand porn today. I can do a lot better sometimes. And on our last final two, how well can we look? Sorry for the mold being look like it's burnt. I had some plastic in here and I forgot to take it out. My mold was on like 200 and it kind of burned it. So, um, it was on 200. I don't know how it burned it, but I might have set it to 300, like for 15 minutes or something. So I kind of, kind of messed up there, guys. All right. That is the last one. Sorry for the kind of spills. I'll clean those up. So now what we're going to do is now. We're going to um, let the plastic kind of harden for a second, and now and then we're going to get back and pour up some chartreuse tails. So see you in a second. We'll be back. Kind of trouble, but guys, I'm sorry. I know my hand pouring was good. Or tip the cup. One's going to look a little funky. But I'm going to turn it around to make it. Going to let these stay hot. Hopefully they'll look good. Um, yeah, just, just to keep it nice and. Hot. It's gotta be our worst one yet, guys. We're gonna cut. Yeah, that's not what you want there, guys. So I'm about to kind of lay it back in there. All right, I think we got it. We're going to get all these other ones out, just see how well. Just got to, you know, kind of remove this plastic. Okay, guys, I would say the these uh, 
seven five inch mojo worms. They came out okay. They definitely weren't my best, I could say that. Definitely weren't my best. As you can see. So uh, yeah, this one it wasn't bad. This one though is almost perfect. If I'm right, I can make it perfect. Oh yeah. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. I really like those. They honestly look like snakes. So I'm going to keep these, but they're, I'm probably not going to sell them. They're not the best. Alright, guys. Time to pour the uh, finesse worms with the chartreuse tail. I am going to kind of move this over here. Alright, let's do this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try to get the best video of these as possible. Remember, this plastic is, I've got two cups of full on chartreuse. All right, there's one tail. There's two tails. Just gotta keep making sure I can There's three tails. Four tails. And five tails. All right. There we go, guys. So now let's pour on the little 4.75 inch mojo worms. Let's see how well we do with that. Alright. One tail. I don't have the injection mold for finesse worms. I'm pretty sure you can find those at uh, Bass Tackle or Lure Works. Two tails. Three tails. Four tails and five tails. All right, guys. I think that worked out better for us. I still, okay, the black's already ready. The black is nice and ready, I think. Yep, it's ready, guys. All right, number one. Alright guys, alright there's one, going for numero dos, alright number two, going for trace, don't know why I started speaking Spanish, oh we got an overspill guys. That's a big oofy. All right, number four. Number one. All right, there's number one. It wasn't bad. Number two. All right, guys, there's number two. Number three. All right. Right, just making sure y'all can see those good and nice and good. All right, looks like we did kind of kick out some plastic. Number four, guys. Here we go. All right. 
All right, guys, I think it's time we take out these ribbon tails. It's only been a couple minutes, but I think they're totally fine. No, they're not. No, they are not. Just pulled out. Yeah, you know what, guys? Not touching another one of these. I'm going to set it to 200. Screw this crap. Gosh darn it, guys. We were so close. Hopefully, we can get five of these. I'll pour some more, but not today. It's almost 7 o'clock. I do have the black ready, but I don't want I don't want to pour it yet. I want to pour the chartreuse first this time. Through all that. And then we pour um the black. I think that'll make it easier. My GoPro is at like 24%, guys, so if it dies, it dies. And I'll have to finish the video tomorrow. But um we could call it what should we call the uh, color, guys? Not sure. Comment down below what the color ought to be called.